Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Monday, November 29th, 2021. So my goodness, we typically have a very boring and pretty lifeless market on Black Friday, but whew, boy, did that change this Friday with the WHO coming out and saying there is a new variant of concern and the market just went um, nutso. So we had a major drop in the market and this morning we're looking to rebound substantially However, there are a lot, there is a lot of technical damage in these charts. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Well, my goodness, what a wild, wild uh, Black Friday we have and and I'm expecting Cyber Monday could be just as wild so let's take a look at what we've got going on here first off as you guys know I've been talking about this uh, this break of trend that is certainly important for the market and then of course this downtrend that has been underway in the chart and I kept mentioning to be careful be careful be careful because if we saw those bears come in for any reason we would break in and come down into this support level however I never envisioned um, the WHO calling a, an emergency meeting because of a new variant and us dropping all of a sudden all the way through that level right down into here so what does that mean for today well what I would suspect is we're gapping up this morning and I suspect we're gonna see quite a little bit of price volatility you know I got to tell you I was watching from my hotel room um, early morning on Friday morning and it was just in fact I was laughing it was just comical to me to see they trotted out every single talking head they could come up with to tell everyone to buy the dip. Now, of course, we're bouncing up this morning, but I gotta tell you, what, a, what an incredibly irresponsible thing to be doing because of the volatility of this market. We could easily see a whipsaw today that could take us right back down to the lows of, yesterday, of Friday. We certainly could see a big um, rally that pushes us up and whips multiple times throughout the day. There's no way to know. And if you want to have any kind of an edge in trading, that is not the way to trade. Now, keep in mind that if you're a very experienced intraday trader, oh my gosh, you are on cloud nine this morning because there's going to be some big price movements. If you're a long-term investor that just wants to buy and hold, well, this was, Friday was a pretty good day for you to pick up some potential bargains. And I say potential because there's no assurance we're done going down. As a matter of fact, when it comes to the variant, we still don't know anything. So this is all emotion. So be really, really careful here today. And remember, um, we tr as retail traders, we need to trade with an edge. We need to have some kind of pattern. We need to have some kind of um, clarity in the price action. There's nothing about a thousand point drop and maybe a 300 point gap up that, that says certainty or gives us an edge. So be very, very careful today and realize that we're probably going to be spilling out quite a little bit of emotion this morning because we still just have, we have no answers. We have lots of uncertainty. So taking a look at these levels, we cannot rule out the possibility, although we're gapping up this morning, that we could easily test, retest this support level in here. If that support level were to fail, then we have to start looking for those next levels of price support, maybe down in here where we might catch a little price support um, in um, the day. 
Now, if we just pull back and hold in that area, if we find support in that area and bounce off, that'd be wonderful. And then we would look for that potential rally up toward the downtrend in this big price resistance level in the chart. Now, if we don't catch any pullback on the day, if we just see a straight up buying move, then what we're going to watch and, and need to pay attention to is these resistance levels as we push up. Keep in mind, this is a big gap to fill. And if we push up into here, we not only have a pretty substantial price resistance in the chart that we've created, but we also have a substantial downtrend trend here that could all come together for that resistance um, to the upside. So keep that in mind. Now you also want to keep in mind this is Cyber Monday and there's going to be a lot of folks out there shopping rather than paying attention to the chart. We're also going to have a lot of folks that just haven't returned to work yet. They're kind of going to extend their vacations here um, from the holiday. And then we have the uncertainty in the news, the next news event that could drop that could either shoot us up or send us back down pretty sharply. So watch carefully for all of those things. I don't think there's a whole lot of edge in this market today. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY also gapping substantially lower in the chart and we still haven't come down here to test this level um, in the chart but we did finally come down and catch this area right here and you can see we tested that again overnight in the price action as we sold off um, Asian markets were selling off pretty strongly last night. So we don't have as big a whipsaw area in this chart but let's keep it mind that as we're trying to gap up that possibility that we could pull back into this area. We've created some price resistance areas in this chart that we'll want to be very cautious as we approach these levels and just remember that that's where we could catch that potential rejection um, for that bounce to the upside. Once again, um, Watch these really, really carefully up here as we push back up, just in case we find that next push to the downside. And we don't have a downtrend here to worry about like we do in this, um, the diamonds, but we do have that significant level of price resistance. And then let's take a look at the Qs. Now QQQ, overall, I gotta say held up really well. Um, it's kind of amazing the resiliency of the NASDAQ at the moment. But I do want to point out there is a possible problem starting to form here. Notice that shoulder. We've just created a head. If we were to create some kind of shoulder over here, that could be a little bit of a problem with a neckline, you know, up through this area right in here. I'm not going to draw that because I want to draw this out as price support. And as you can see, if we can hold in here, then we're in good shape. If we were to fail from here, just kind of keep in mind, if we were to fail this support, then we would look to this level in here. And I got to tell you guys, with the kind of volatility that we could see, um, with this uncertainty in the market, we can't rule out that as a possibility. Now, if we do get the bounce and we do push back up, we're going to want to be watching this little price resistance level through here and price resistance right here. So as we push back into this area, um, we'll want to watch that carefully to see if we can push on through or if we happen to find some resistance there by the bears in a push back down. So watch carefully for those levels in the chart. And then let's take a look at the Russell. Now that Russell had a really rough day on Friday uh, breaking down. And I've been mentioning this for a while that we busted down through, we had nearly a year's worth of price support in that chart but we've been unable to hold that and we are officially in a downtrend here on the russell and unfortunately we gave up this trend as well and that was even before the big sell-off on friday so now as we rally back up in this chart notice we're trying to gap up this morning let's start watching these resistance levels in the russell because we could certainly run into quite a few resistance levels on our way back up here toward that downtrend 
and that uptrend break right in here. If we kind of get that commingling of resistance there, that might be a tough area for us to break through. So watch carefully on that. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX shot up like a rocket. And um, as you can see, we broke through, and this is, this is that fear that really comes in and comes in hard in the market so as we push up here notice we're holding this upside trend we had this little bit of a channel that we were trading in but we broke straight through that and we pushed way up here way up here so we have a lot of fear in the market now fear creates volatility volatility creates uncertainty and uncertainty doesn't bode well for the retail trader. Let's let the institutions, let's let the gamblers kind of sort this out. Stand on the sideline, wait for your edge retur to return. Um, trading in fear and trading with fear of missing out is a very dangerous place to be, potentially, uh, particularly when the volatility is so high. If you are an option trader, you add the um, additional risk of that high implied volatility where all your option prices are going to be spiking substantially higher so that um, time value of your option goes way up, making it much more dangerous to trade. So be very, very careful here. Um, might want to let it calm down just a little bit. Take your Cyber Monday off, go do your shopping and settle, settle back into your chair and just pop some popcorn and put your feet up and watch the show because it may be one of those days to just kind of stand aside and let this settle out and then you can come in with a, a better picture and a better prepared um, um, setup with better edge in the market. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 had a rough day as well. We pushed down um, at one point we were below um, right down here toward zero in that chart. So we finally reached the oversold level um, in um, T2122. Now that does suggest bounce, but it doesn't ever tell us that we're just going to shoot all the way back up. We could bounce and then bounce around and push back down before we finally get that move back up. So kind of keep in mind, we are in an oversold um, um, area, that bullish reversal zone, but it doesn't necessarily mean we shoot right back to the highs. There's going to be a lot of price volatility um, likely in the market today. So keep a close eye on that. We could see some big whipsaws. If we take a look at our T2101, I got to tell you guys, this does not look good for the market. This is the number of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. And we want to keep in mind that if we pull this back and take a look, we've been making these new record highs in the market and we've been doing it on fewer and fewer stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. Now take a look at what we have here in this chart. We've broken this upside trend and we've broken down through some support levels in the price action of that chart. So watch that carefully. We would expect some kind of a bounce back. Notice we've only got 36, 37% of our stocks above their 40 day moving average. That means there's a lot of technical damage in the market. So any rally back into here, we'll wanna watch pretty carefully because we could rally back into those resistance points and those charts and then turn around and see those bears attack again. And if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 is ugly, 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 ugly. Um, notice that in the big selling on Friday, we not only broke support in this chart, we've slashed right through that trend. And that was before the big uh, Friday sell off. And as you can see, we held that um, area right there as price resistance and we're headed lower. Notice that we have 
less than 40% of our stocks are above their 200 day moving average in the market. So we have a lot of stocks below that 200 day moving average. That's creating a lot of weight. That's also going to add to that potential whipsaw and really weird price action in here until we can start to recover just a little bit. So be very, very careful here uh, today. And then if we take a look at our T2101, now T2101, I've been mentioning this for a while that I'm not gonna be too concerned about a major sell-off unless we break that wedge. And notice that we pushed right up to the top side of that wedge, we didn't really confidently break through to the upside. So what that means is on that selling wave that we've created more opportunity for that upside move if we can continue that, um, that energy. So watch carefully in here. We do have that possibility we could continue to tighten that wedge. And as I've said, I'm not worried about this unless we break out and hold that higher low in here and then look out below, we could have some substantial selling here in the market. So just be really careful here, guys. There's going to be probably some pretty darn wild volatility to deal with. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, luckily, we don't have have a lot on the economic calendar to really move us around. We do have pending home sales and of course that can have um, some impact on the market. We do have a Fed speaker but other than that pretty light day. Now kind of keep in mind as you're planning forward we have some some big things coming our way here. We've got consumer confidence, we got PMI and Case Schiller in here um, coming in on Tuesday. So as you plan forward, kind of keep an eye on that. And then we're going to start hitting into um, that end of the month stuff where we get um, or that beginning of the month stuff where we start getting ADP, um, we've got ISM, we've got that petroleum status, PMI manufacturing, beige book, and then we're going to slip on over here to the big number of the week, probably that employment situation, which I think everyone is expecting to be a pretty um, solid number. So keep an eye on those key elements here in that um, economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, we're really starting to lighten up quite a bit. We had about 22, I think, companies on the list. Unfortunately, really not much in there for notable reports um, today. Um, quite a few of those um, were unverified reports. And we're going to kind of see that continue to dwindle here um, as those big notables kind of slip away. However, we do have a couple to pay attention to to and again not not hugely notable um, ARCE will be reporting today $20 stocks been in a downtrend pushing up here in this chart this is one of these that could create that pattern that we love to trade the round of bottom breakout but watch that closely as that reports today um, uh, GB DC um, is reporting today $15 stock again not particularly notable but something to pay attention to um, this has obviously been in a pretty ugly sell-off breaking some support levels in the chart so keep an eye on that and then we have um, LI LI getting a nice strong report here this morning keep an eye on this if it can break through this resistance level that we've been struggling with for the past several months here in the chart on LI so with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video is worthy, please click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment and continue to comment on the channel that um, engagement with the videos helps uh, the channel to continue to grow. And by the way, guys, we went over 25,000 subscribers. I want to say just a huge thank you to everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. And what I'm gonna, going to do is, and now that we've got 
got past the holiday, I'll create some kind of a live event here on YouTube. I may, I may actually um, move everyone over to our trading room for a free day in the trading room, but we'll create some kind of event and then I'll get those giveaways of um, those carvings uh, taken care of. So thank you everyone. I truly, truly appreciate it. Keep listening here within the next few days. I'll announce when we're going to do that giveaway. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks. And by the way, thank you to those folks that continue to support the channel through Buy Me A Coffee. I really, really appreciate it. Then um, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, uh, with so much volatility, there's an awful lot of risk here um, in the market. And I'm not going to be the one out there trying to throw all into this market. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be a little bit, uh, well, probably standing aside today protecting my capital. But if you choose to trade, there are some stocks out there that you might want to pay attention to. Um, I'm going to um, start off with a little bit of metal. Uh, take a look at FCX. Now, we had seen FCX starting to rally back up. Um, and it was interesting on Friday that it dropped hard and then bounced back up. So keep an eye on this. Some of the metals may come back pretty good. So you might want to watch some of those. I would also think that you maybe should take a look at energy. Now energy, um, we've already got oil rebounding this morning. I don't think anyone um, actually believes oil is going to go substantially lower considering the policy actions of the administration. So keep an eye on this. Um, watch for that potential. You could find maybe charts like um, ExxonMobil, um, maybe Devon Energy held up really, really well um, in the move. So looking for a few of those kind of charts, maybe a place or, you know, just picking up a, an ETF like XLE wouldn't be um, all that bad if you want to try and catch some of the recovery here um, in that sector. Another place um, you might want to take a look at is, whoop, um, um, XLF. Take a look at some of these financials. This was a really hard gap down and notice that we were pushing up into that downtrend in the chart. And I apologize, my tools uh, changed on me there. As you can see, pushed up into the downtrend of the chart. There may be some recovery in here underway um, in the financial sector. So keep a close eye on that if that continues to rally back up. Now, some of the favorites out there that um, take a look at like AMD. AMD has been incredibly strong and it held up extremely well. And notice that it's just resting, resting um, in this consolidation. So as we push out here toward this trend, you might wanna watch for that next opportunity in a chart like that, if that can push on through. We've seen Nvidia just unbelievably strong and it just rested, had a little pullback there on Friday, kind of ignored everything in the market. So watch that as that moves out here toward trend, you may see some opportunities in a chart like that. But by and large, guys, I'm gonna suggest standing on the sidelines, being a little bit careful and safe, unless you're a, an experienced intraday trader that can handle this kind of wild volatility, or if you're a long-term holder that just wants to buy this, um, this pullback as an opportunity to hold a stock for a long period of time. Swing traders, position traders, probably don't have much edge in this market today. Let it settle down. Good days are coming again. We know that. 
just let this um, uncertainty settle out. And please remember, guys, we still don't know anything. It's just all rumor and speculation at this point as to what could actually occur with this. So just remember, any news event that comes along could certainly shake up the market considerably. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Y'all take care. Be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great one, everyone.